Jeepers Creepers is just a movie, right? Or was it inspired by a real event? Stay tuned. Hello, true crimers. This is the case of Jesus Christ. Uh, are you good, my guy? Okay. This is the case of Dennis Depew. Viewer discretion is advised, and possibly also a therapist. 46-year-old Dennis Depew was married to 48-year-old Marilyn Depew. You're a lovely woman, ma'am, but he is very much Depew. Now, the two of them lived with their three children in Coldwater, Michigan. He was a property assessor, she was a high school counselor. But bubbling and brewing underneath their seemingly happy marriage was a not happy marriage. One full of tension and arguing. Dennis sort of became a recluse in his own home. He accused Marilyn of trying to isolate his children from him. Not true. The children would recall that usually the two of them never really spoke to each other. Well, in 1989, after Marilyn was just fed up with the marriage, she filed for divorce. By the end of 1989, the divorce was official. Dennis moved out, he was given visitation rights. Marilyn changed all the locks on the doors. On Easter Sunday of 1990, Dennis would come over to pick up the kids. The kids were like, mm, we don't really want to go. This pissed Dennis off. And then Marilyn and Dennis began to fight. The kids would report that he pushed her down the hallway many times. They pleaded for him to stop. He then started hitting her. He then pushed her down the stairs, went down to her, and then punched her some more. The oldest child wanted to go get help, but Dennis had already slumped her over his shoulders and walked out the house with her. And then he threw her in his van. He said he was taking her to the hospital, but they never got there. Here's where Jeepers Creepers comes in. A happy little couple, Ray and Marie Thornton, they were taking a nice little countryside drive. When suddenly behind them, they saw a van driving very fast and almost on their bumper. The man driving the van did this for a while, then he drove past them. The couple then drove past the schoolhouse where they saw the man again, or at least the van. They saw a man carrying what looked like a bloody white sheet over his shoulders, but they kept driving. And then suddenly the man in the van was behind them again, this time riding their bumper like crazy. And it was terrifying. They drove off to the side of the road and then he pulled off a different direction. They went back to the schoolhouse. They found the bloody white sheet and contacted police. The next day, Marilyn's body was found and she was also shot in the head. <sighs> Dennis escaped for a year. Then his story aired on Unsolved Mysteries. That same night, his new girlfriend recognized him. He got in a shootout with police and died.